like for you to learn this music coming from a drummer's perspective? The drum part is almost completely notated for all the different pieces in this, in this collection of, of compositions. It's very unusual for me. And I've put in you know, a good amount of time to play them literally note accurate and then the more we were rehearsing it the more it just the more Michael was like you know those are sort of the idea you don't really have to it, it just seemed like that was actually getting in the way you know trying to to play this in this very specific way exactly as it's notated but you know today and on the record the broad outline of the notated parts are, are being played and as we were getting ready for the recording I learned them as accurately as I, as I could. And then as we were rehearsing, which we didn't actually do, now I'm remembering, we didn't really rehearse it that much after a certain point because we couldn't get indoors and it was too cold outside. I guess when we got to the studio or when we were talking over Zoom, I learned that it was, it wasn't like going to compromise the integrity of the composition if I didn't play the exact notated drum part. Learning the drum part was a great experience. I mean, that's great for a drummer, drum set player, to play something fully notated. I learned a lot just, just trying to get it. I've played with Vinny a lot now in different settings, and, uh, and one of the things that most people will probably talk about with Vinny is his beautiful sound. But the, any setting that I've played with Vinny, I, he's never reading notated drum parts. So to get him, to hear him get the music to a point where he's playing it with his beautiful sound, you know, today is the first, that was the first thing I noticed in the living room when we played. It's like, man, it's, you're really getting the, the, the white glove treatment here. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, well, the thing with that also, if you, you know, when you think about this music, first of all, I, I chose to write out the drum parts. I didn't have to. I, I, it's only recently that I've started doing that some because it, for me, it's just a challenge. Like what, like what can I come up with that might suggest some different ways of relating to the the other parts that I write? And and the thing is, it's gotten very common in my musical world. The drummer just gets a bass part or a, or a piano part or something, and they just come up with a part. And it's like, well, that's cool, but but you know, I'm not giving Chet that. I'm not giving you know, like we we you know, we have parts, and then we can deviate from them. We can there are things we can do. To, to make them more personal, to make right. them, but but the thing is with this particular music, because the drums are so physical. I mean, they're the most physical instrument, really, in a certain way. I mean, my instrument's pretty physical. Well, yeah. But you you know, there's a, a rhythm to the way you do things. Yeah. But now you're playing these things that might feel a certain way going forward, but those same rhythms going backwards are really weird. Really weird. Know? So you know, so if you go, did it do It's really been done. Yeah. You know, so it's like you never play that. You would never play some of the things forward either, but a lot of them well, you would never play back. The the dig it going boom, yeah, right. like yeah. that's yeah yeah that's a that's a thing you've heard. But boom, right. I can't boom dig it to got da dum, I which I'm not even sure is correct backwards of that. Right. I never yeah. played that. Yeah. So so it was a bit of a, a way to kind of kind of just play with with rhythm to pull it out of the body a little bit and put it back in part of the head that has to kind of calculate these things. So we do have these some kind of mental processes of this and then to somehow bring it back into the physical world was sort of like, oh, yeah. maybe it's sort of challenging to see what Vinny does with this, which is, has is, is been, you know, and like, like Chet says, with that beautiful sound, oh. that beautiful touch, have these things that were, you know, partially thought of as physical drum parts, but also kind of brought into like a bit of a mental space and then brought back there, you know, then to hear Vinny play them in such a, an organic and natural, you know, human way. I mean, that's really what I wanted. I mean, I'm not, I'm not into writing music for machines so much, although, you know, I've, I've experimented a little with that.